everybody, welcome back to Beanie Bee Safari. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make some of my props that I use in my videos. All right, let's get into it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be making is a broom. To make the broom, you will need yarn, black string, a bead, and a skewer. First, Cut the skewer to 11 centimeters or four inches long. Now that you have done that, cut the yarn into small strips to make the tassels on the broom. When you're done cutting, try to make them all the same size. Mine are two inches or four centimeters long. Next, hold the yarn like this and stick the skewer inside in between your fingers with the yarn. Then take the black string and wrap it around the yarn and tie it. This may take a little while because it's a little bit finicky. After you're done tying a nice tight knot, go ahead and trim off the excess string. Now after you've done that, you can trim the tassels on the end of the broom to meet the length that you would like. Now lastly, you can fit a bead on the top of the broomstick just for decoration. And then you're done. You've made a nice miniature broom for your Beanie Boos. Also, if you would like a bushier broom or a less bushy broom, then feel free to add more or less string on the bottom. Next thing we're gonna make are mini notepads that you can actually rip off. What you need is paper, a glue stick, and maybe a marker. Firstly, we need about, say, four pieces of paper folded in half, and then we are going to go ahead and fold it again. This will give us a piece of paper folded in quarters. Now we are going to take scissors and cut out the bottom corner that has zero folds on it. So this has a, this side has a fold on it and this side has a folded corner, but this one has zero folds. And we're gonna take it and cut at our desired um, width of the notebook or notepad. After you've done that, gather all the pieces and arrange them together. Now, if your edges don't line up, you may want to trim it down a little bit with some scissors. Now that we've got a nice, um, even stack of papers here, you might wanna write a special message like notes or thoughts or little heart or a drawing on each one or even just the top two to make it look more like a notepad. Personally, I'm going to write notes. All right, now that I've written notes on it, I'm going to run my glue stick along this edge and wait for it to dry. Okay, so here's the finished product a notepad that can actually rip off. The next thing we're going to be making is a Beanie Boo pillow. What you'll need to make a pillow is two pieces of fabric cut to the same size, some fabric scraps, or some pillow stuffing, and a sewing machine or a needle and thread. First, measure out your fabric scraps to the size you want your pillow to be. And make sure to leave a border around to um, leave room for you to sew. Then, lay the two fabrics with the good side in. So, the bad part of the fabric is on the outside. So, all the way around, making sure to leave a gap at the end. Now that you have sewn that, 
turn it inside out using the hole that we left. Once you've turned it inside out, make sure to really push the corners out with a pencil or a dowel, something sharp, even a chopstick would work. Now that we've successfully turned it inside out, we are going to use either scraps or stuffing to make this a stuffed pillow. So using the hole we made, just start putting scraps or stuffing inside the pillow until it's filled to the fluffiness that you would like it. Also, make sure that the scraps you're using are cut up into small strips so that your pillow doesn't appear lumpy when it's all finished. Once you've got it to the thickness you want, you can go ahead and sew the opening closed. And after you're done sewing the top closed, you're done your pillow. So here are the finished products. But of course, if we have pillows, we need a bed. So I'm going to show you how I make my bed. Firstly, I take a book and place it down where I want it to go. Then I take a face cloth or a towel or something, some sort of cloth and place it on and tuck the excess underneath the book. Just like that. Then I take a blanket I've sewn or have and place it on top of it. And next, I put my pillows on. And there we have it, a bed. I got this bed idea from uh, Beanie Boo Studios a long time ago and I've been using it ever since. And Beanie Boos fit so nicely on it. Those are the props I have for you today. If you would like to see me making more props, then comment down below and maybe I'll make a video about it. But for now, goodbye.